What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, we have a little something different than my usual, uh, but if you're new here, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, let's get started on what we're gonna do here. So, my purpose of getting a truck is to make it like a all-purpose vehicle, you know, camping, overlanding, off-roading, work, back and forth, grocery getter, um, you know, just your everyday use of what you would need a truck for pretty much um, i don't tow anything crazy so that's why i went with this mid-size canyon um, so today we're going to kind of talk about everything that i keep in the truck and uh you know all this gear i keep in there it's not going to stay i'm kind of figuring out what i need what i don't need um you know upgrading some things i have in there that i just threw some old stuff in there that i just happen to have um, but we're going back the truck out so that we can access the driver's side and I will show you guys the uh, gear I keep in it. I bought this folding weight rack for parking vehicles on this side of the garage, you know, because it folds in pretty much flush with the wall. But I figured out with this folded in, the, the poles, the legs are right here. I can actually open my doors wider with it unfolded because they snap into place right there which gives me plenty of space to get in here so I'm gonna do a dislike like a, a video of my top five dislikes of the truck and you know my top five likes or whatever but cold starting this thing is like those rpms are high or they're not high, it's only at 1500, but it sounds crazy loud. Oh, um, I don't know. I'm just used, maybe I'm used to my V8 Mustang, because uh, it sounded, you know, sounded a little bit better at those higher RPMs. So, it was a little bit, it was, you know, it just sounded a little better, so I'm not used to the four cylinder, I guess. But yeah, let's go ahead and do a walk around and show you guys the gear that I keep in here. So we're actually going to start with the driver's side just because I don't keep a whole lot over here. Um, my garage door opener, I used some 3M tape and stuck it down there because I don't like stuff hanging on the visor. My MagSafe phone mount, it's just a suction cup. Um, but anyways, that's not really gear. So on this side, I keep hand sanitizer. Um, I'm out, so I need to get some more. And I have my work gloves here. I always keep a pair of work gloves in my vehicles, whether it's the Mustang or the truck. Um, these, most of the time, are in the glove box, but I've been using them a lot lately. I've been helping my brother on the weekend, so they kind of just stay there. Uh, that's all the gear I have on this side. Uh, in the glove box, you know, most people, down there is more like school badges and things like that um, I have you know I keep a pocket knife in here I have a pocket knife in my pocket I keep one in my backpack I have one in here and I don't buy expensive knives I, I mean they're reasonably priced um, but you know they do the job I don't need expensive stuff fingernail clippers you always get those hangnails and then you know your little challenge coins I keep those in there I get a new one every year um, Moving on to the back driver's side, my dog seat cover. I always keep a water bottle with me as well. That one needs to go inside, I need to wash it. I forgot about it. Um, this backpack doesn't normally stay in here. I just keep dog stuff in here for when we hike. Um, dog water goes in here and their dog treats. And if I pull this seat up, if I pull the seat up, here I have this emergency kit. I mean, it's I opened it kind of see what to see what's in it, but um, it's just from Amazon, and I'll link all this stuff. But it's got like your knives, your survival tent, blanket, um, some first aid stuff in there, fishing gear, just in case you get stranded somewhere. With me wanting to off road this truck, um, I figured that'd be a good thing to have. And then I have a first aid kit. I need to get a new one. Um, but this one still has plenty of stuff in it and this is a waterproof bag 
I keep an extra pair of work pants in here um, just in case I'm out somewhere wearing shorts. I've had that happen before. I'm out wearing shorts and you know, I need a pair of pants. And then I keep a collapsible dog bowl for water in here. Um, that's for my dogs. And that's pretty much everything on the driver's side. Lay this back down. And we'll walk around to the passenger side. We'll start with the back of the passenger side. I actually don't remember what I have over here, but dog leash, uh, license plate that I haven't got put on yet. Um, dog leash, I have another dog bowl. This one actually needs to go into that car. Um, dog, this is actually a dog water bottle. It's got the little bowl on it. Um, I like those better because you can set those down for them. You don't have to hold it. And then over here, I actually don't have any gear under here quite yet. I will eventually. Right now, I just haven't fully got everything in this truck that I need. But work boots are a must just in case you're out somewhere. And, you know, you need some steel toes or something. They don't even have to be steel toes. Don't have anything in this door just because it's the passenger. Glove box. I keep... Usually my work gloves are over here, and I usually keep two pair of work gloves. I need to put another pair, but safety glasses. I got dark ones and clear ones. I have a flashlight, which I'm actually going to take this flashlight and keep it in the house, and I'm gonna put this smaller one in here, um, just because I don't really need this big flashlight so I'm actually putting this flashlight in here and I actually got this one it's a work light and it's um, it's got a magnetic base on it and it is uh, 3,000 lumens and it's it is bright uh, I will link these below oh. but these I can hold this these lights fold move whichever way you need this handle can move whichever way you need it to stick it somewhere um, this will stay in the truck this one's going in the house I don't need it um, and I do keep those because I've needed those before and then I keep my backpack because I am full-time working and full-time schooling so I have my work computer with me at all times and I either have my iPad or my personal laptop with me for school um, to take notes and do homework and stuff. And then usually in my backpack I keep this. It's like a little, it's got cords for phone, charging, anything like that. I have battery packs, I have one there. And then I have one back here, so I have two battery packs for phones in case somebody needs them. I have one for my Apple Watch right here, um, which is just a small battery pack. It'll probably charge your watch one time fully. Um, I keep that in my backpack. My backpack is with me probably four days. My backpack's with me four days out of the week, so that gear is in here most of the time. Um, not always so we're gonna head to the back and I'll show you what I plan on putting in the truck just to supplement for when the backpack isn't here and I don't have those battery packs not that I need them all the time we'll look at the we'll look inside the tailgate first I've showed you guys this already but extension cord because I have an outlet there. I've got my trailer hitch, jumper cables, which I plan to replace with a battery jump pack. And then I keep some straps in here. I am gonna add a toe strap. I just haven't ordered it yet. And then I have these three battery packs and I haven't quite decided which one I'm gonna keep in the truck yet. Um, 
with the truck bed having an outlet i'm not sure if i would need this one i know they make smaller ones so i might look into a smaller one to keep in the truck and then there's this this is a 27,000 milliamp battery pack and i think this is about the same um 12,000 milliamp but so this one's got less of a battery capacity than this one, but the difference is this one comes with a lamp. So I plan to keep one of these in the truck. I'm not sure which one that, you know, I will really need. So I'm kind of testing what I would use it for. This one I'd kind of use more for the house to power my fridge if the electric goes out. Um, because this this one does handle a lot more it's even got the surge um the surge pad right there so this one handles a lot more um this one's got a bigger capacity than this one so and it's got the same uh it's got the same outputs you got a usb and then uh usb type three so i'll probably keep this one in the truck somewhere uh, but other than that so far that's all i've got i do plan to get a tow strap a new first aid kit um and you know just whatever else that i discover that i might need to keep in here obviously some tools i'm waiting on a tonneau cover to put my toolbox back there with tools i will keep tools in the truck but yeah lights work gloves work stuff um I mean that's that's really it for uh this video so like and subscribe let me know what you guys keep in your truck if you keep anything similar or if i'm missing something important um let me know and i will see you guys in the next video and everything that i showed today will be linked down below so it'll help me out i get a little bit of commission from those amazon links um so it'll help me buy more stuff for the channel for the truck um so help me out let's keep growing we're at 400 subscribers at 500 i'm going to do some sort of giveaway um so i'll see you guys in the next video